Namaste, one and all. Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, host Yan. I hope you lot are all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea news transfer news video. We're going to be talking about two things. The Blues have been linked with RB Leipzig's central defender. Hold, please. Dio. Upem Dio Upem Meccano Upem Meccano Dio Upem Meccano Easy I think He's French so I'm assuming it's Dio and Do Dio and not Dayot Anyway release calls good player interesting we're talking about him And also a bunch of online football media publications are all saying Chelsea are going to axe loads of players in the summer and there's a list of said players and I thought it might be interesting to go through it with you guys and talk about the players you dig but before we get into this wonderful gear a quick mention from my sponsor one football yes indeed the lovely platform that gives you everything you need to know related to chelsea football club and indeed football in general whether that be scores fixtures statistics news and media lineups all that kind of good gear you get that on one football. So make sure you swing by by clicking the link in the top of my description and check out the platform. It's superb. All right then, let's get into it. So it is interesting going through these players that loads of publications like Give Me Sport have talked about. <laughs> there is a lot in there, ones that you'd expect and a couple maybe that you wouldn't expect. So I want to talk about that. But before, let's talk about Deo up and cut. Oh, hold on. I mean, I've watched Leipzig a few times, man. I just don't know his name by heart. Dio. Upper Meccano, Upper Meccano, Upper Meccano, not down on Meccano, Upper Meccano. I'm gonna just call him Dio from now on, or Dio. Dio? It's like you're learning the name with me live on this video. Superb YouTube content. <laughs> <laughs> Let me cite this article for you. Chelsea have reportedly identified RB Leipzig defender Dio as a transfer target this summer to bolster their defensive options. Obviously, Chelsea have four good centre-backs. Nothing really world-class. Apparently, our best centre-back is Antonio Rudiger, who's looked the worst of late, so I can understand why Lampard, Chelsea, the club, generally are identifying potentially a new centre-back to join, because this does look more and more important as the season sort of starts to burn out. The Blues continue on to hang on in fourth place so true in the Premier League table this season and it remains to be seen if they can do so through the final 11 games of the campaign depressing but true qualifying for the Champions League will be a major boost uh, in being able to attract top players this summer as Frank Lampard will look to strengthen his squad while it seems pretty clear where he needs reinforcements. Having conceded 37 goals in 27 league games to date that gives Chelsea the worst defensive record in the top nine sides of the table. Wah. In turn, shoring things over the back must be a priority for Lampard ahead of the next season, and according to the Mirror, mm, reliable source, <laughs> Upper Meccano could be seen as the ideal partner for Antonio Rudiger, the guy who was just saying has been bad lately. At the back, uh, as well as the left back, uh, is on the agenda for Chelsea. I'd argue a left back is more important for Chelsea at the moment. So Chelsea are in for this player. It's specifically noted in the report above that Arsenal have also been linked with the interest of the 21-year-old as they are too are having problems in defence. It's Arsenal, they always have problems in defence. While The Sun, oh, just one reputable source from another, adds that he has £50 million release clause in his contract with Leipzig. All right, so <coughs> Chelsea and Arsenal both want the RB Leipzig centre-back, 21 years old, French international, £50 million release clause. Obviously, a lot of money for a centre-back, a young centre-back from the Bundesliga, perhaps not a you know, superstar Galactico name, but let me tell you about some of his metrics this season. And remember, Leipzig are a very, very good team. Dayo Apocano, uh, central defender, uh, French, 90 kilos. God, heavy dude. 186 centimetres, 21 years old. Looking good so far. So, whoscored.com has given him a rating of 7.28. Basically 7.3, which by their standards is very generous. So, I mean, he's, I've seen him put in some good performances, but... They really, really rate him. He makes, oh my goodness gracious, 3.9 tackles and interceptions per game. 3.9 tackles and interceptions per game. Superb, gets stuck in. Excellent, excellent numbers there. And he makes 3.4 clearances per game as well in isolation. So he's doing loads of superb defensive graft. No wonder he's got such a high rating. Young player, plays in an expansive attacking team, superb at defending, outputs elite numbers, and £50 million release clause? 
I mean, probably about right. <laughs> when Chelsea are being linked with Issa Diop for 50 million pounds, this guy looks better. So that's interesting, and that's cool, and to be honest, man, I'm all for it. I don't necessarily back the idea of getting a 30-year-old Kalido Koulibaly for 100 million pounds. There's no sense in that investment whatsoever. This kid looks good. He's playing in a side that want to play similar football to Frank Lampard. Can play in a back four, can play in a back three, like Frank Lampard likes to deploy. Obviously, he's very young still. People talk about bringing seniority and experience to that back line, but if he really is that good, and you're bringing a player away from a rival like Arsenal to bring to Chelsea, then it could be really nice. Anyway, give me your thoughts and opinions on this player. Let's talk about the outgoings. So Give Me Sport have basically commented on how Frank Lampard was fuming after the Bayern Munich defeat and how he learnt a lot about his players. Mm. Obviously for Frank Lampard, the bar for his Chelsea performances are very, very high. Because remember, he knows what it means to be Chelsea at the best level. He isn't a, I guess, mercenary manager that's just looking after himself. He sort of genuinely, genuinely bleeds blue, wants the best for the club, and he played at the, you know, he wore the captain's armband when Chelsea won the Champions League. He knows what it means to be Chelsea, he knows where the bar is set, and he knows the level players have to be playing at. He's not just some random guy that's been promoted through like the youth coaching setup. Put all that together, he's going to look at you know the shortcomings of these players in front of him, and he's going to be like, right, I'm, good, I'm doing my best here, but it's time for a clear out. So Give Me Sport have named eight players that could apparently be on their way out. To be honest, there's only really a couple of here that might be surprising, but let's go for it. The first one, Kepper Ethan Balaga. The world's most expensive goalkeeper has been dropped in recent weeks, and <laughs> Lampard no longer trusts him. No good having a £72 million goalkeeper sitting on your bench. True, but let's be honest, he's probably not a £72 million goalkeeper anymore. He's probably like 30 million if we're lucky. <laughs> so that will be interesting. Um, will Chelsea, I mean, Chelsea are going to have to take massive losses. Probably send him on loan, in my opinion. Send him on loan, get his wages off the books. Hopefully he can develop value again. And if the club who loans him really like enjoy having him, maybe they'll play 50 million for him. Who knows? Kurt Zuma. This is interesting because Lampard fought hard to keep him in the squad. Uh, he had good spells this season, but since has fallen behind Andres, Christensen, Fakai, Tamori, and of course Rudiger. So it'd be sad to see him go, but I'd kind of get it. Emerson Palmieri had the opportunity to cement the left-back position with Marcus Alonso's injuries, but failed to do so. Obviously started the season very, very well. Emerson fell off a cliff, and I don't know what's happened to him. Marcus Alonso, good going forward in a wing-back position but has failed to convince Lampard with his defensive ability and just generally getting turned. His temperament, in my opinion, just um, whatever, like a good left wing back in certain games if you're not collapsing as a whole, but whatever, man. I'm like, at this point, I'm like, yeah, just get rid of him. Do you know what I mean? Jorginho, now this is an interesting one. The vice captain has been brilliant at times this season, which I'd agree with. Great on the ball, but needs to be better without it. No doubt angered Lampard after picking up a yellow for descent against Bayern, meaning he'll miss the second leg. I don't know where they've plucked this name from. I could kind of get. Maybe if they make 70 million for Jorginho and they've just got another player to come in in his place, that's undeniably good. But you're selling the vice captain and I just don't really see that happening because, you know, leadership's at a premium in this modern age. Next up, Ross Barkley. Here's a shocker. This was supposed to be a big season for Barkley after an impressive preseason, which we all agree, I think we'd all agree on. But he's been too inconsistent. And for me, that Bayern Munich game just showed he's just not that level. I mean, I always thought he's useful, he's quite canny, he is technically good, he will listen to the manager and train hard, he will shoot from outside the box, but I just don't think he is good enough. Willian, <laughs> talking of inconsistencies, Willian's contract expires in the summer as he demands a further two years with a 12-month optional extension, something the club are refusing to agree on. Yeah, I think there's a chance that Willian might go, or he might just sign a two-year deal, which I don't actually think will be good for Chelsea. And finally, Pedro. Pedro's contract also expires in the summer. He's found opportunities very hard to come by this season, making just seven appearances in the league without scoring. Yeah, I think everyone would wholeheartedly agree. Thank you for your time, Pedro, but it does look like the sun has set on your Chelsea career. So that's interesting. I'm wondering if there's any more in there that they probably missed. I think obviously Caballero will get released. Uh, and then, you know, there's players that aren't in the squad that will probably go. 
Bakioko, drink water, I don't know, you know, players like that. But it is interesting, well, what do you guys think? Get down in the comment section below, let me know your thoughts and opinions on said players. Who would you add to that outgoing list? What do you think of a young centre-back Dior? Do you think that sounds like a good acquisition for, say, £50 million pounds as a release clause? Is it a priority position? Get down in the comment section below and let me know. If you've enjoyed the content today, guys, why not like this video? That helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you are new please <laughs> follow me on social media at football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter that's it from me guys you lot enjoy the football up the chills I'll see you later you ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living I'ma walk the walk outline my lines I rap through thought body bag the verse outlined in chuck in my life seen trouble hustle on the double silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle yo chick like to guzzle bad boy stay in trouble i only love this paper sorry i don't i love me baby